Okay, hello folks, welcome to Day 1 Mastery Game 1 first half. I, I, I'll try, I'm gonna talk a bit slower, because I still have stitches on my mouth. It's almost been a full week since my oral surgery, but I kind of don't want to wait anymore. I don't want to be too behind. But anyways, we're gonna have MRC Ali coming out as our bomb. Ali was playing as Ali0069, if I wasn't wrong, with his, uh, his wheel performance. Was quite nice to see, but since... This is a red church. I say wheel would have to be. I would say you can't really play wheel on this map, but not getting that chain bomb there is kind of a bit unfortunate. That's a very brilliant chip right there from Ali's side. Honestly, Ali has been. Like, there has been a lot of new players picked up from Koa. Which is nice to see, but there is also quite a bit of old players like Huang He, like Alekasu, who has stopped playing for a while if I'm not wrong. But seeing new players coming in isn't too bad as all. It does seem like they want to get Ali in just for some experience. Anyways, that's going to be the first double staff. Decides to immediately flip out there, just so you can flip away from the bomb man, because the bomb man is annoying to deal against, especially with the fact that she did has she did have one chip as well. But with Hua Hua side as well from TE, it's very nice dodges if Hua Hua really wants to. He can he can basically sweep away the bombs and then disarm the bomb on himself. But with this type of containment, it's 90 seconds into the game. And the good news, honestly, is the fact that Splink has been forced to be used out first. And this isn't an insolence detention bomb on, which is a little bit unfortunate on this side. And then with Four Cypher being at 65%, Hua Hua here, all what he needs to do is to get rid of that bomb. Yeah, the range is quite big. Listen, I understand what everyone's thinking. Why is the range that big? Just because it is. It's antiquarian at the end of the day. Uh, gets one down, but it's two minutes in towards the game. We'll having a 90 second... No, will there be there will be 90 seconds remaining before accelerated decoding coming up. But seeing that Tango uh, has... Uh, Tango is actually back, surprisingly. I think he was on during the very early days of Koa. Or am I, or I may be just dumb. But anyways, it does seem like we are going to focus more or less on finishing off Ford's own cypher here. And we're going to go for a full chair rescue. I'd say that probably would be the better choice right now. Ford finishing off his cypher should be able to come up on time. I say if he wants to, he can start pulling a full ball towards the chair for a long time. But with a chair, chair progress here, it probably would be better to wait until the chair is around like 75% progress. And then seeing that the patient is also nearby, it seems that we want patient to come in. If this is the case, then patient and forward needs to come in together. Your cypher machine is definitely enough right here. But you need to at least guarantee the patient to be able to safely rescue here. Tanko coming in with a... Hey! This, this is a bit risky. This is a bit risky right now. Very nicely done from both sides. Not taking a chip right there. This should hit the forward before it should be coming back with another long ball. That's going to be a stun. I thought that was a miss, but if possible, he should come out with another one. Forward, if possible, please and thank you. Forward, take a normal hit right there. Doesn't matter. Forward, pull the ball. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, we're changing. Okay, we're changing targets. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, changing targets here, more or less, is, mm, is better for survivors than it is for hunters here. Your cypher machine is prime. Patient finishes off his cypher machine. And then you can have the anti current stuck by the gate. There is trump card here though to change straight towards... Um, to change straight towards teleport. That's going to be one chip. That's going to be two chip. Gets the hit right there, but it's still okay. This isn't too bad, and the cypher machine is fully primed right there. Ford has a bit of ball. Patient has hooks, so chasing after patient here probably wouldn't be the best. I think you missed it. Oh, wait, no, that didn't miss. I'm surprised that didn't miss, to be honest with you. If that missed, that'd be quite, it'd be quite funny, but... uh, <laughs> And anyways, nostalgic on the Ford right there. Ford dodging that chain bomb. Very nicely done. This five-second bomb right here wouldn't really be able to do much. Ford still has quite a bit of ball left. So pulling away right here should enable him to jump over that window. Having two more bombs remaining left for a chain bomb. I don't think this is going to land though. This is going to land considering this is a high tier survivor against a high tier bomb bomb. Survivor usually will be able to react a little bit faster. But also at the same time this is a before half rescue. So all what the anti current has to do here is to stay near towards graveyard. But also have more than enough distance to reach the... Exegate. Uh, with that in mind as well, Hua Hua is also nearby. Sees that the anti current is near, but definitely saw where the anti current was, anyways. And it seems like. 
it seems like we're going to have psychologists should be able to reach towards the exit gate considering if patients opening the gate right now 40 percent around 10 seconds left until the gate opens psycho should be able to rush out psycho should be able to rush out that's a huge question mark for all of us right there but anyways that's a one chip on towards the patient wait this is a tie oh this is a tie apparently Oh my, this is a tie, but there's only 30 seconds remaining on the clock though for... Oh wait, no, Ford got rescued. Ah, uh, uh, Ford got rescued. It's still going to be a four-man endgame, but I don't, it doesn't seem like Psycho will be able to play around here any longer. Didn't get a hit, thankfully, but the chip will not... Oh, it registered, okay. The, the pilot is still here though. Sorry, I'm, I don't want to be like too excited. Because there's stitches near my cheeks, so I can't really open my mouth that way. Sorry about that. So for the recent few commentaries, it will be me being a little bit more chill. But anyways, Tausing. Tausing should be dead here. It's a three-man elimination here, unless Ali loses our psychologist here, which is really bad. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dungeon's nearby. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, it's a four-man escape with Bomb on short legs. It's, it's a four-man escape with Bomba on short legs. Oh, no. Gay will only take six seconds to open, considering it's a 76% right now. Well, I say even less than six seconds. Probably five is enough. And the gate is open. Let's congratulate T for the four-man escape. Oh, my. Moving on towards second half. Okay, coming from Pepe's side. Pepe is, just so everyone knows, he's first knighted. He has he beat it he beat it he beat it uh reborn with his knight three man elimination against reborn with his knight so being first knight does give him quite a little bit of an extra uh, not extra ability credibility doesn't it but seeing as of now what's happening is we're not going to chase after middle we're going to look for nanako who is the magician magician isn't that much of a bad pick though Magician isn't that much of a bad pick though, especially against a Nyad, I don't think it's really that bad. Considering the fact that you can just push your wand, it's 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 literally one wand, one, one harpoon, in a nutshell. Shouldn't be able to get that pad over the head as well, considering the fact that... Oh, well yeah, well yeah, you would have muscle memory here, not the end of the day. But knowing this as well, like Nanako has full, 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 full liability here. She has full leeway here. Well, not she, he. He has full leeway here to be able to do whatever the hell he wants to do. Your perfume, no, sorry, your your wand is used as a perfume now. That's going to be a blinkish open right there, which isn't too bad for the survivors. But knowing that Knight has insolence, it does seem like our phase one will be open here immediately. Should be able to dash to catch up towards Nanako quite easily right here. But also at the, real, at the same time, we do need to realize that Nanako does have flywheel right here. So even if Knight wants to suffocate Nanako right here, that's one flywheel and another free 15 second containment within 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 abyss knowing that as well knowing dash as well uh, we have to be very careful here there's another dash and it does seem like nanako will be going down right here you can't really dodge that dash considering the fact that you're at quite a narrow area unless you do like some type of you, unless you use your wand you wouldn't be able to dash that at all but with this in mind it's very similar to last game two minute down it's very similar to last game two minute down but it does seem like forward cypher no forward decide to leave his cypher to be a little bit closer towards his chair but i mean the difference here is last game it was a bonbon -bon. this game it's a not yet forward has four can fully counter though oh we're gonna get a no damage no we got a damage rescue right here but it should allow magician to fully rush away from the chair but going back in towards this i mean like i i fully understand why you would go back to this area but also at the same time nanako should not be standing there at the same time nanako should not be standing there because now you are at a very dangerous night like in that situation put the pallet down run just just leave or just don't put the pallet down at all any of it would work Ford wants to rebound Kai right here. I mean, what would be better here is for survivors to get a three man escape. Pepe, Pepe's, Pepe, 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 for Pepe himself, his main goal is to get a tie, but for survivors, there has to be a three man escape. Just so for round three, survivors can get a four man escape and a four man um, elimination. No, three man escape and three man elimination for them to get, like, you know, extra points. But. As of now, it does seem like we should be able to get a three-man endgame right here. We're still missing three full, well, not three full cipher, trying the half cipher, but forward going down right here, not using the flywheel is a little bit unfortunate. 
It is a little bit unfortunate, but also at the same time, he's quite closely towards the knight, so you can't really blame forward for that. Forward pulls the bottle quite a little bit early right here from Sinclair's side. Like, that's a very nice rollerblade right there done by Sinclair, but also at the same time, having quarter of a ball left. Oh my lord. Oh my lord, we bought we bought enough time. I think enough time was bought. Over the pallet hit right there. And then forward's just gonna play a little bit of a mind game right here. Pepe definitely knows that there's no ball left. Oh wait, there is ball left. Wait, that didn't register, but it's gonna be a terror shock on towards the forward, which isn't too bad. Uh changing targets here was Sush. The survivors a lot. It's very similar to last game though. It's very similar to last game. At the end oops, at the end of the day, these are all new hunters playing against deep these type of survivors. What's going here that our patient will become our immediate Hotel here will be the next rescue, but I think Nanako should just leave by this point. There's no point in Nanako being here. There really isn't a point in Nanako being here. The Cypher Machine is going to be primed. Oh wait, we did not get the rescue? I think it may be the Moisture Pop right there that didn't give, give them the rescue. But with Sinko right here, it's not too bad. Flight was a little bit early, sadly, but I also at the same time, I feel like he should have been able to vault over that. Considering this is a forward as well. Hwata, all what he has to do is to stay in this area. That's all what Hwata has to do. It's very similar to last game as well, if you do realize. Last game, it was anti Kurin being very closely towards Cher. This game, it's our patient who has an item. So, at the end of the day, once the gate is open, everyone can say rush out, rush out, rush out. But, of course, you need you need psychologists to be nearby as well, just so patient can take the speed boost here. As we see on the bottom left-hand side, speed boost on towards out. Very nicely done by MRC Survivor. Let's move on towards game two then, shall we?